Hello dear students, I hope you all are in the best of your health and enthusiastic about your studies. Students, today we are going to study chapter number 6 of class 8th science that is combustion and flame. So first of all, let's see what you already know. Can you name a few fuels used in your homes? What are some fuels used in automobiles? What is CNG? What are the differences between burning of a candle or burning of a fuel like coal? Now let's see what we are going to discuss in this chapter. Combustion, types of combustion, flame, fuel and efficiency of fuel. Let's study all these topics one by one in detail. First of all, let's start with combustion. In class 7th, we had performed an activity in which magnesium ribbon is burnt to form magnesium oxide and produced heat and light. Now, we are going to perform a similar activity with a piece of charcoal. Hold the piece of charcoal with a pair of fire tongs and bring it near the flame of a Bunsen burner. We find that charcoal burns in air producing carbon dioxide, heat, and light. In this way, a chemical reaction or a chemical process in which a substance reacts with oxygen to give off heat and light is called combustion. The substances are of two types. Some substances can burn easily and some do not burn. For example, here you will observe that one boy brings a burning matchstick to a paper and other brings a burning matchstick to a piece of glass. The paper started burning easily. So, children, those substances that can be burned easily in the presence of oxygen to produce heat and light are called combustible substances. On the other hand, piece of glass could not catch fire. So, the substances that do not burn in the presence of oxygen are called non-combustible substances. Now let's discuss about the conditions which are necessary for combustion. Fix a lighted candle on a table. Place a glass chimney over the candle and rest it on a few wooden blocks in such a way that air can enter the chimney. Observe what happens to the flame. Now remove the blocks and let the chimney rest on the table. Does the flame flicker off or does it flicker and give smoke? Again observe the flame carefully. Finally put a glass plate over the chimney. Now let's understand some more facts about combustible substances. Here you can see that a boy is taking a burning mastic towards a piece of paper and second boy is taking a burning mastic towards a piece of wood. But this piece of wood does not catches fire easily. Whereas paper catches fire and starts burning. 
it means the piece of wood does not reaches to its ignition temperature so dear students the lowest temperature at which a substance catches fire and starts burning is called its ignition temperature that is why different substances catches fire at different temperatures you must have observed that you all have been stopped by your elders to bring matchstick near lpg stove why is it so because lpg gas easily catches fire it has a very low ignition temperature similarly you must have been observed sign boards of no smoking at petrol pumps can you think why yes because petrol also have very low ignition temperature and it can easily catches fire similarly smoking is also prohibited at petrol pumps so dear students ignition temperature of petrol and lpg is very low and they easily catches fire with the flame that is why these substances are called inflammable substances now let's see how can we control fire but before it is important to know about the conditions which are necessary for burning first thing necessary is the combustible substance or fuel second one is air and third is heat to raise the temperature of fuel beyond the ignition temperature fire can be controlled by removing one or more of these requirements that is why if we cut off the air supply to the burning substance fire can be controlled you must have observed firemen to extinguish the fire by throwing water under pressure on fire water cools the combustible substance below its ignition temperature and this prevents the fire from spreading but water has some limitations water cannot be used to extinguish fire in electrical equipments and wiring because water is a good conductor of electricity so it can cause electric shocks to the people involved in fire fighting operations similarly water cannot be used to put off fire caused by burning of oil or petrol because water being heavier than oil settles down at bottom so carbon dioxide is the best fire extinguisher for fires involving electric equipments and inflammable materials like petrol etc carbon dioxide being heavier than o2 surrounds the burning combustible substance like a blanket in this way it cuts off the contact between the burning combustible substance and oxygen supply and the fire is extinguished so dear students the added advantage of carbon dioxide is that 
in most cases it does not harm the electrical equipments but now question arises that from where we can get the supply of carbon dioxide carbon dioxide gas can be stored at high pressure as a liquid in cylinders when released from the cylinder carbon dioxide expands enormously in volume and cools down so it not only forms a blanket around the fire but also brings down the temperature of the fuel that is why it is an excellent fire extinguisher now dear students let's see the types of combustion depending upon the conditions under which combustion takes place there are three types of combustion rapid combustion spontaneous combustion and explosion let's see what is rapid combustion when a combustible substance burn at a rapid rate producing a very large amount of heat and light is known as rapid combustion spontaneous combustion when a combustible substance burns into flames on its own without the application of any apparent cause is called spontaneous combustion explosion when a substance burns and a sudden reaction takes place with the evolution of heat light and sound and a large amount of gas formed in the reaction is liberated it is called explosion children can you tell what is a flame if we observe a flame of kerosene lamp the color of the flame looks yellow whereas if we observe an lpg flame coming out from our cooking gas stove it appears blue in color color of candle flame depends on supply of oxygen if supply of oxygen is less then the color of flame will be yellow it means the process of burning or combustion of fuel does not complete it but if the supply of oxygen is sufficient then the color of flame becomes blue it means here combustion of fuel completed so dear students now question arises here is that why flame occurs let's find the answer the substance which vaporizes during burning gives flames for example kerosene oil and molten wax rise through the substance and are vaporized during burning and form flames so at the time of combustion the substance which vaporizes on heating burn with a flame on the other hand charcoal is a solid fuel which does not vaporize on heating so charcoal does not burn by producing a flame it only burn in combustion now dear students let's discuss zones of a candle flame a candle flame can be divided into three zones the innermost zone 
which is black zone middle zone which is called luminous zone yellow in color and the outer zone which is non luminous zone that is blue in color let's perform an activity to understand three zones of a candle flame take a lighted candle when the candle flame is steady introduce a clean glass light into the luminous zone of the flame hold it there with a pair of tongs for about 10 seconds and then remove it you will observe a circular blackish ring is formed on the glass slide it indicates the deposition of unburnt carbon particles present in the luminous zone of the flame that is why this zone of the flame is also called middle zone of partial combustion let's do another activity hold a thin long copper wire just inside the flame for about 30 second you will notice that the portion of copper wire just outside the flame gets red hot it indicates that the non luminous zone of the flame has a high temperature it is the hottest zone of the flame and is called outer zone of complete combustion that is why goldsmiths blow the outermost zone of flame with a metallic blow pipe for melting gold and silver metals dear children do you know what is fuel the materials which are burnt to produce a large amount of heat energy are known as fuels wood coal lpg kerosene diesel and petrol are examples of fuels now let's discuss the characteristics of an ideal fuel it should be fairly cheap and easily available it should be easy to handle safe to transport and convenient to store it should burn smoothly and not produce any harmful and irritating fumes during burning and it should not leave ash after burning so dear students now we will learn about fuel efficiency fuels are the important sources of energy we use petrol to run automobiles lpg is used at homes for cooking crude oil is used as fuel in aeroplanes wood or coal are used for different purposes like get warmth at our places etc children all these are the examples of fuels all fuels produce different amount of energy the amount of heat energy produce on complete combustion of 1 kg of a fuel is called its calorific value the calorific value of a fuel is expressed in a unit called kilojoule per kilogram children 
do you know that burning of fuels leads to harmful products let's discuss about some harmful products produced during burning the increased use of fuels has several harmful effects on the environment for example carbon fuels like wood coal and petrol on burning releases unburnt carbon particles which cause severe air pollution these fine particles are dangerous pollutants causing respiratory diseases such as asthma incomplete combustion of these fuels gives carbon monoxide gas it is a very poisonous gas it is dangerous to burn coal in a closed room because the carbon monoxide produced can kill persons sleeping in that room combustion of most fuels releases carbon dioxide in the environment increased concentration of carbon dioxide in air is believed to cause global warming burning of coal and diesel releases sulfur dioxide gas it is an extremely suffocating and corrosive gas moreover petrol engines gives off gaseous oxides of nitrogen oxides of sulfur and nitrogen dissolved in rain water and form acids such rain is called acid rain it is very harmful for crops buildings soils and for animals too now dear students let's revise this chapter oxygen in air is essential for combustion ignition temperature is the lowest temperature at which a combustible substance catches fire combustion is mainly of three types rapid combustion spontaneous combustion and explosion there are three different zones of a flame dark zone luminous zone and non luminous zone fuels differ in their efficiency and cost increased percentage of carbon dioxide in air has been linked to global warming dear students now let's discuss some questions and i hope that you all know the answers so first question i have some substances and you have to tell which of these substances burn with or without flame the substances are candle naphthalene balls a metal piece coal gas stove and cotton so we know that candle burns with a flame naphthalene balls burns without flame coal burns without flame gas stove burns with flame cotton burns without flame and metals burns with flame second question differentiate solid liquid and gaseous fuels from these fuels and the fuels are dung patties kerosene oil 
एल पी जी कोल डीजल एंड नेचुरल गैस यस यू कैन मेक अ टेबल हेयर सॉलिड फ्यूल्स आर डंग पैटीज एंड कोल लिक्विड फ्यूल्स आर कैरोसिन एंड डीजल एंड गैसियस फ्यूल्स आर एल पी जी दैट इज लिक्विफाइड पेट्रोलियम गैस एंड नेचुरल गैस नो हेयर आर सम फिलअप्स विच गैस इज डायरेक्टली लिंक्ड टू ग्लोबल वार्मिंग yes carbon dioxide gas the use of diesel and petrol as fuels in automobiles is being replaced by dash by which gas yes you are right that is cng compressed natural gas it has replaced diesel and petrol as fuels in automobiles as it is a cleaner fuel so dear students here we come to an end of this chapter that is combustion and flame i hope you understood the chapter nicely so dear students keep safe keep healthy keep studying and keep discovering new things we'll soon meet with another chapter thank you